So this account is going to be installation of internet, uh, but it's a bonded service. That means we have to get two uh, lines good to the home. We have to have two separate lines feed um, service, and then the modem unites them inside at the house. So what I'm doing now is I'm checking from the NID um, to make sure that the lines go from uh, the NID all the way to the cross box. So if you look here, you have the blue pair, and then you have your orange pair, green pair, and then you have a second drop wire to feed the blue pair here. So what I'm doing is I'm going up to the first blue pair, which is uh, the blue pair is connected to the protector right here, which is connected to the sled, and I'm checking here at the, at the sled tester. So I have it connected to the uh, sidekick meter, and what I'm checking for is that the noise is below 40. So in that case, it is below 40. Uh, and then the, the next thing is to kick the distance to make sure that the line reaches all the way to the cross box. Set it over to leakage RX times 10. So you multiply each one of these main lines by 50. So in this case, we hold down the tip side and we flick the rev switch and it looks like it's going up to the 60. So that's equivalent to 3000 feet. Hold down the ring side, kick the switch and it looks like it's going up to 60, which is equivalent to 3000 feet. And based on our notes, our cross box is approximately 3000 feet away. The next one I'm gonna test is the blue, the other blue pair down here. I'm gonna test it in and I'm gonna check the stress level. Looks like the stress level is under 40, which is good. Now we go to leakage. Hold down the tip, and we flip the switch, and it looks like it's going to 60, which is also uh, 3,000 feet. Hold tip side, and it's going to 60, 3,000 feet. So I have now found two pairs that look like they're going all the way uh, to the cross box. It would be this one and this one. So I'm going to put a toner here and a toner in here, and I'm going to go drive out to the cross box and listen for the tone, and then I will send service from the two DSL ports to those two different tones. And uh, according to my records, customer should be somewhere around binding post 5 and binding post 6 on the blue sticker, which is the di distribution side that goes to the house. You put your wand and you start listening. And I hear it on 4. And I hear it on 7. So my first pair is on the alternating tone. Second pair is on the solid tone. So uh, with the alternating tone... What you can do is you can short it to verify that that's new. So all you got to do now is put the tone on the test leads and touch. Now to switch tone, that means that it's a clean short. That's us. We verified that for certain. Now we come back over here and on binding post 7. That's us. And normally with the solid tone, it just stays quiet when you short it. So it went away, now it came back, so that's us. Now we have to find our purple DSL stickers that are feeding us internet, verify that uh, the signals come out that should be coming out, and then we wire one port to number four, and we wire another port to number seven. 